take the lovely pass from Torres, but has to do a lot of work to get into the back of the net. Right, both players in the box for TT. He controls it really well, creates that little bit of space. The, the players, the, the defenders don't follow him. He turns and a good, a good shot. I think the goalkeeper could have done better, but Shirley's just having that bit of luck here and there at the moment on the form of his life and, and a great goal. Fantastic goal indeed in the 10th minute. Uh, they got their second in the 28th and it came from the man who's probably on his way to the hospital now because of breathing difficulties. Shakir Hamza, talk us through this one, John. Well, he's just stood all alone. I don't think anybody even began to pick him up. Didn't even see him, didn't even look at him. And is it, like I said, it's a decent header. I, it still shouldn't be going in from there. So congratulations, first goal. Absolutely. Terrible defending, though. It's got to be said by TT. And then fast ball Navas. Put in that for his uh, fourth goal of the season. Well, then, I mean, what do you think, Dan? The goalkeeper's got to take him out, really, isn't he? I mean... They've conceded two goals from corners there. Basil is he's renowned for scoring this kind of goal from, from, inside, the goals, six, yeah. from inside the six-yard box with yeah. his head, but he's always in the right place. And interesting enough, uh, T-Team had made a substitution just before that, uh, which is something you just don't do. All right, second half now, no goals, but plenty of chances. T-Team's George Boyting, they're almost getting one back, Dan. Yeah, and it just shows that they just have no confidence in front of goal. Nine goals all season in 17 games now. It's just not good enough. And when you have Boateng up front on his own, and he's only had one assist and no goals this season, you can understand why they're not scoring. Well, there were a couple of chances uh, that came the way of the Lions 12 as well. That was a Harris Haron and a nice save, I suppose, by the goalkeeper. And then Boateng again setting, setting that up. But frustrating evening. It's a frustrating evening. It's a really frustrating evening for both teams because this is your defensive midfield, your holding midfield, really, and uh, the onus is on him to create something. And near the end, Forrest Rumley, but he was caught, pulled offside for this one. Dan, I know you thought it was a close call. Could have gone either way. It's not offside, is it? Uh, at the least level. Uh, I thought he could have positioned him.